As a guitarist, we deal with a lot of stuff. We constantly have to tune, strings break, we lose picks. I mean, lots of problems that come along with being a guitar geek, but one of the ones that is the biggest pain is when you're picking and your pick starts to move in your hand, right? It spins, it just feels weird. Like you start playing and, all, and it feels good, and then by the chorus of the song you're playing, all of a sudden the pick has spun and you can barely use it anymore. Well, there's a tool, an accessory, I'll call it an accessory. There's an accessory that I was just made aware of that I wanna share with you. Uh, last week it actually came in in the mailbag and the accessory is called Monster Grips. Okay. Monster Grips, what they are, they're these, these small silicone material little discs that you actually just stick on your pick. You can do it on one side or both sides, whatever your comfort level is. And they aid in making your pick stay put. Now, these came in, I had never heard about them before, and really I wasn't seeking them out because I feel like overall I have a pretty good grip on my pick. But I can't say that's always been the case, right? I've tried a lot of different things. I've tried violin rosin, which is very messy. Uh, it's sticky, but it's, it's very messy, especially if you leave it in your guitar case, don't do that. I've tried Gorilla Snot, which works to a degree, but also it's very messy. And I've also tried uh, the Cool brand picks. There's a, there's a pick brand out there, Cool, C-O-O-L. And they have these picks that have little sandpaper, uh, I guess little pieces of sandpaper on the faces of them. And they're great right off the bat, but after you play with them for about, I don't know, half an hour, that starts to let go and the pick becomes smooth again. But Monster Grips are entirely different. And I'm saying this because these arrived and I was very skeptical because there was a lot of claims made, okay? There was claims made about them being very grippy, and there was also claims made about it being washable, as if once you put it on your pick, if it got slippery or if it got full of gunk, you could wash it off. And I'm thinking, right, a sticker that you put on your pick, you just put it in water and it just comes off, and it stays grippy, right? In my head, I thought the sticker was just going to peel away, and it was just kind of, well, I thought it was a bold claim. So I had to test it out. So literally, these came in last week. I put two, a one on each side of a Dunlop Altex pick, and I played guitar for about an hour. And then I proceeded to put my pick with the monster grips on it in my pocket, where lint lives, other picks, coins, things of that nature. And it stayed in my pocket for about a week. And yesterday, as I was preparing for the show, there was a cup of lukewarm coffee on my desk. Well, on our desk, no one I share a desk. <laughs> It's a long desk. It's not a tiny one. <laughs> and, I, and I actually looked at the pick and I thought, I wonder if this, these are really, you know, I wonder if this is cracked up to be, you know, really grippy. So I threw the pick in the cup of coffee. I let it sit there for about an hour. I went and emptied it out and then uh, in our sink here. And then I poured uh, some Gain liquid dish soap on it and washed it off. And holy smokes, all the claims are true. I'm not even kidding. Uh, the, this, the, the monster grips didn't come off the pick and after cleaning it, it was grippy again. Now I will say this, there's a, there's kind of a, a um, an adjustment period for me. Uh, for me, it was, it was more the thickness. Now these are really thin, but I'm really sensitive because I get so used to things. Uh, so it took me a little bit of adjustment to get used to the surface on either end of the pick. But after that short adjustment period, the pick really did stay in place much better and I did have that extra grip that the packaging promised. So I'm very excited to, to share these monster grips with you. Now, I wanna, I wanna make abundantly clear that they have a very cool video out there that is, dare I say, um, infomercially. Think of, think of uh, you know, the infomercials for Tupperware where the lady opens the cabinet and like this tower of Tupperware falls on her. They did that same vibe, but uh, an infomercial for the Monster Grips picks, which I think you'll enjoy, so I want you to watch it right now. Monster Grips. If you're tired of a slippery pick or having to play with only a specific brand, you are like the rest of us and likely tried the sticky and messy stuff out there only to find it wasn't a clean solution. That is why we have made Monster Grips. Utilizing a patented silicone that provides the ultimate non-slip grip that isn't sticky and stays clean, we have applied it as a simple sticker. Surprisingly durable yet ultra-thin, 
It is extremely comfortable and is certain to enhance your playing experience. While we had set out to make the most perfect pick grip solution, we discovered the enormous possibilities it inherently carried. Monster grips are the perfect answer for guitar picks, drumsticks, effects pedals and equipment, woodwinds, brass instruments, and anything else your heart desires to give a non-slip grip. We put this in the hands of local musicians and they simply can't believe they ever played without it. Monster Grip's amazing properties allow you to hold the pick even more lightly, producing even better articulation while reducing fatigue. We have teamed up with the amazingly talented Matt Quistor, so be sure to check out the various offers. Thank you and rock on! All right, so I hope you got a kick out of that as much as I did. I thought it was really funny. The duct tape scene was was one of my favorites, as was the hugging of the musician who just who just received the monster grips. Now they come in a, a little package like this. They uh, it's like a sticker sheet almost, and I think I want to say they're about nine bucks a sheet. I'm not 100% sure on that, but you can check uh, either on their website or on the Amazon link. Um, and it's a pretty, that's a pretty inexpensive experiment uh, in comparison to all the experiments that you can try on your guitar. So if you have a problem with your pick spinning or just overall grip on your pick, definitely check these out and, and they might be for you.